As we write these words, Volkswagen is readying the next generation Tigan, aiming to add a third row of seats while moving production to Mexico to pay costs. The Tigan needs a lower price and more room to be competitive in the cutthroat class of compact crossovers. There were fewer players in this segment when the current, German-built model arrived for 2009, sharing its platform with a Mark V Golf that was, at the time, called the Rabbit here in the States. So call this test a farewell to the first-gen vehicle with the chimeric name suggestive of a beast that would eat its own platform. We like to imagine that VW's marketers were poking a little fun at the whole idea of making a little truck that's really just a taller car when they created the name, blending the words Tiger and Iguana. Today the mashup of car and SUV has become the norm and the Tigan's name is about all that sets it apart from the crowd. It placed second in an eight-way comparison in 2010, but the many newer and very good entries arriving since then would make a repeat of that performance improbable. A facelift in 2012 modernized the appearance, but VW never got around to offering America the diesel model it sells in other markets. With the Tigan already priced at the high end of the segment, VW didn't see much demand for an even more expensive TDI. When VW also stopped offering the manual transmission and ignored our suggestion that the DSG, at least, would be a welcome alternative, enthusiast interest waned. That situation is only partially offset by adding the Reliant trim package found on the 2015 model you see here. This is the first time we've taken a front-drive Tiggin to the track since that 2010 comparison. Another Tiggin test car had four motion, which adds $1,975 to most models. Same as it ever was, this front driver weighed 155 pounds less than the 4 motion edition but 54 more than the comparison test car, which was a lower spec same model. With the same 200 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo 4 and 6 speed automatic, acceleration was identical to that of the previously tested all wheel drive model. The 0 to 60 mph and quarter mile times of 7.7 .7 and 16.0 seconds each fell about a half second shy of the 7.1 and 15.5 the front drive 2010 example posted. Road holding much the other front driver at 0.79 grams, just shy of the 4 motion car 0.81 grams. Braking from 70 miles per hour took a disappointing 185 feet and we noted moderate fade. We measured stops 10 feet shorter with less fade in previous tests. One possible explanation is that this car had 19 inch wheels and Biley Scorpion Verde all season tires while the earlier examples had 17 inches wrapped in Michelin Latitude tires. The Verde in the Pilis name may suggest green, low rolling resistance priorities. But our observed fuel economy, at 21 miles per gallon, was significantly lower than the 2010 test's 24 miles per gallon. Intangibles and values, while we've consistently dinged the Tigan for its high MSRP, real world shoppers tell us dealers offer aggressive discounts to move the metal. That would certainly make the Tigan lines tight fight and finish, handsomely dressed interior, and agile handling advantages worth considering you'd still be settling for less interior room in both the back seat and cargo hold than you'd get from most competitors, however. And, despite a significant and welcome upgrade in the infotainment system for 2015, with more on the way in 2016, this old dog hasn't learned the popular newer tricks of lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, and automatic cruise control that feature on many more recent arrivals. At least a rear view camera is standard, even on the base S version. The other trim levels, say Ansel, plus the 4 motion and appearance air package variations, add up to 8 steps between the $27,120 stripper and the $40,490 Reliant AWD. The Reliant brings a lot of kit for about $4,000 more than a loaded Sol, including a sport suspension, those big wheels. Bixen and headlamps, leather seating, a roof spoiler, and lots of extra trim bits some body color, some aluminum. The only new item on that front this year is that the Reliant's rear bumper has been restyled. 
with the new generation Golf Sport Virgin already here offering both a diesel and a manual transmission, plus the upcoming Altrac variant on the way for 2017. The logic for the Tiggin as it stands today looks ever more dubious even within the VW showroom. Which suggests shoppers might, indeed, find a big discount on a car that's still more appealing to drive than many newer crossovers, even if it makes no more sense than a furry reptile.